Canada and welcome to UVU TV. I'm Jessie Schuster. Guess what location we are in today? If I tell you alligator, snake, airport rides, you guess it's right. This is the Everglades, but not any type of Everglades though. We are here today in the oldest alligator farm in South Florida. This privately owned attraction is actually home of about 2,000 alligators of all sizes. But you will learn more about this park and its animal throughout the show, as we will meet with alligator and snake specialists, and of course, take an airboat ride. Today's episode also featured the best video from our website, uview.channel2.org. So we're gonna start with our first pick, Miley Flanagan. She's an actress, and she's also the voice of Naruto. Naruto is a Japanese animated series, very famous over there. So Miley Flanagan, go back to her. She was actually at the first Star Trek and Naruto convention in Fort Lauderdale, and she explained more about her career, the show, and an experience. I am the voice in English of Naruto, and uh, there's a voice in Japan, the original voice. And uh, so I've done like 170 episodes of Naruto. Yeah. Um, well, I got sent to an audition from my agents, and then um, I went to the agency and auditioned. And then I got a call back, which is when they bring you back in to work with you. And when I went back, there were a lot of people, producers and the you know, director and people from Viz and some people from Japan. And um, then I kind of worked with them for about 45 minutes or so and they kind of adjusted my voice here and there to suit the character and then they ended up uh, picking me to do Naruto. It was really exciting and I didn't really know how big Naruto was when I auditioned for it and then after I got the role I kind of went on the web you know typed it in and I was like oh my gosh this is huge. So I did improv and then I did plays and then I ended up taking some classes in voiceover and specifically in animation voiceover um, and then I ended up doing it. Actually my last class, the person that taught me my last class cast me in my first voiceover role and that was uh, Susan Blue and she cast me in Men in Black. And I, I'm a character actor obviously and when I go on to other shows usually I'm doing like a guest shot or a very small role and Naruto is, you know, it's the lead character and we've done a lot of games. We've done like 12 games, three movies, um, 170 episodes so far. So, you know, it's, it's just a lot more work. So it's a lot more acting. It's a lot more range. And uh, it's very exciting because you get to play a lot of different moments, you know. When I'm on Grey's Anatomy, it's like, ah, oh, here's your x-ray. It's very exciting. <laughs> I love doing those shows, but you know, there's a whole system in place and you just kind of come in and, you know, you're the goofy whatever. Usually I'm like a secretary or nurse or security guard or something like that. South Florida is well known for its beautiful weather, but sometimes it can become very hot and humid. This is why I U of you, we decided to explore different attractions around South Florida to give you an idea of what to do during the summer instead of staying home under the AC fans. And we went to the Miami Seaquarium. Take a look. with Carolina Perina. She's the public relations manager here at the Seaquarium. So how are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How about yourself? I'm doing very great. It's actually very hot out here today. Is it like this every time? Well, now in the summer it will be, yes. yes. More and more. <laughs> do you have more visitors here during the summer usually? We do. We actually get a lot of visitors over the summer. We actually get a lot of visitors during winter time as well. We get a lot of tourists coming down for the warm weather. Yes. Um, but all around it's a busy, you know, it's a busy park. So we always have a lot of present from tourists and locals as well. Do you know approximately how many people do you have a year? 
Not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> I <laughs> no, have but... to research that. Right. Great. So can you tell me a little bit about the park when it was opening and um, what were the major transformations since it opened? Sure. The park was actually opened in 1955. Mm -hmm. It was the first marine park, as you had mentioned earlier. And, uh, you know, since then we've done a lot of things to the park. In the park we have uh, dolphins, we have sea lions, we have a killer whale, we have sharks, we have birds. And as you can see, now we have a new addition to the park. This is Dolphin Harbor. It just opened up last year. That was July 2007. And it's been a hit. You know, it's the only swim of the dolphins facility in the greater Miami area. Other than that, you'd have to go up to Orlando or the Keys to get in the water with these animals. So Miami, Miami Sea Aquarium really provides something unique, uh, unique and different experience you know, all around. Definitely. So I heard that actually speaking about dolphin, that the first dolphin was born here. His name was Bebe, I think. It was a her. And she was uh, featured in the TV series Flipper, right? Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about that? Sure. Actually, uh, the Flipper TV series from the 60s was actually filmed here in the park. Oh, okay. So it's very neat. And BB was one of the Flipper dolphins. We had six dolphins that played Flipper throughout the duration of the film. Mm -hmm. And BB was one of them. So BB was a star. And now in the park, we have two of her offspring, two of her sons, okay. still 